Hello and welcome to my channel on how to play checkers and win 90% of the time. This video is for complete beginners all the way up to advanced players. If you know the rules of English drafts or American checkers and how to play, you may skip the next part. Players sit opposite each other and orientate the board so that a white square is on their bottom right hand side. Each player has 12 checkers and places them on the brown squares of the first three rows on their side, never on the white squares. Rule number one, white moves first followed by black, and then they take turns moving. Rule number two, a checker can only move one square at a time, diagonally on the brown squares only. A checker cannot jump over its own checkers, and they cannot move backwards or jump backwards. The only checker that can move or jump backwards is the king. Rule number three, the must jump rule. If a checker moves into a square where there's an empty square behind them, you must jump and capture the checker. You can jump in either direction as long as there's an empty space. Black has to jump over the white checker, followed by the white checker jumping over the black checker, and then the black checker jumps over the white one to complete the sequence of must jumps. Rule number four. When a checker reaches the back line of his opponent's side, it becomes a king, the most powerful checker, because it can now move backwards and forwards, as well as jump backwards and forward. To make a checker a king, simply put another checker of the same color on top of it, so that it becomes a double checker. The game can end in four ways. Number one, when a player cannot move when it's their turn to play. Number two, a player resigns because they know that they cannot win. White has two more checkers than black and is a more experienced player. The outcome is inevitable. Number three, draw by agreement. Each player has four checkers, and as long as no one makes a mistake, it is impossible to remove all the checkers to win. Number four, by removing all of your opponent's checkers. Now here is the interesting part that you've been waiting for. How to win your games 90% of the time. I play checkers online 
using a free program developed by Hackstrom. It is an excellent program. The graphics are great. You can create a username so that you can play on any device and you can save your games so that you can find out why you lost. All games are ranked, but only the first 25 are displayed. My username is I Can't Play, and at the time of making this video, I have 5,701 points, played 8,328 games, won 7,517, lost 442, drew 361 for an average win of 90.34%. Now here are the 13 things you should learn to win 9 out of 10 games. White can only make 7 different opening moves and black can only respond in 7 different ways. Watch. So only learn one opening move for white and two respondent moves for black and become an expert in these initial moves. Number two, control the center of the board. If you can control the center of the board, you can move your checkers to any corner to get a king or capture a checker when the opportunity arises. Number three, move your checkers out from the single corner first and only from the double corner when necessary. Number four, always try to place a checker on this square, even if you have to exchange checkers to get there. It allows you to attack your opponent's weakest corner, the double corner. Which leads into do number five, always attack your opponent's double corner. Number six, keep your backline checkers there as long as possible because it's impossible for your opponent to get a king if you have not moved any of your backline checkers. Also, try to keep the ones with a smiley face on their square because it makes it difficult for your opponent to get a king in this situation as well. These are called anchor checkers. Number seven, get a king before your opponent. Remember, king is the most powerful checker because it can move backwards and forward and jump backwards and forward. As long as it is not trapped or blocked, it has an infinite amount of moves. Number eight, pull your opponent's checkers from the back rows so that you can slip past to get a king. Number nine, set traps to get a double or triple shot. Number 10, form lines of three or more checkers so that you can set up jump shots of two or more. Number 11, trade checkers when up by one or more. Number 12, before making a move, practice what your parents taught you on how to cross a road. Stop, look, listen, and then move. This will prevent you from making moves without thinking first and will improve your chances of winning by 20%. Finally, number 13, 
practice, 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 practice. A visitor to New York asked a local how to get to Carnegie Hall. The New Yorker replied, practice, 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 practice. <laughs> I will be making daily videos on how I win using these 13 strategies. The videos will be unedited apart from graphics to make it clear on what I was thinking. So join me here or on YouTube. Please click on the like button or subscribe so that you'll be notified of new videos. See you at the top!